One of the greatest privileges I've ever had as a pastor is to interview Deed Eman, a leader of the Dutch resistance during the Second World War, and hear the story of her amazing life and how she received an award from the State of Israel of Righteous Among the Nations as she helped save the Jewish people. Let's listen. Okay, Deed, I wanted to ask you a little bit about what happened here a few years ago. You have received an award that only a few people in the world have received. It is a, an award from Yad Vashem and from the people of Israel um, about being a, a righteous person among the nations. A and righteous Gentile. A righteous Gentile. Of <laughs> course, the, Gentile. yeah, righteous Gentile. We are Gentiles because we weren't born Jewish. De, tell, tell us, what, what does that mean to you? To, to know the Lord used you and that you, you received this award. Can you share that with us? Well, I, of course, I'm happy because <coughs> I read that only people who have risked their lives get Yad Vashem. That's right, that's right. So it's a great honor. Yeah. And I love the Jewish people and I have many Jewish friends. And when there are special days like the Holocaust Remembrance Day, I yes. always go to the synagogue because I think that. But you know, the other day they didn't even have a special service. And I yeah. think I told Rabbi Shadik, <laughs> I said, you should have a special service. So when you, when you received the award, did they give you something? Did you go someplace to get the award? How, how did that I happen? I had to go to uh, Illinois somewhere. Okay, so you went to Illinois. In a place, I think it's all on the lake, and that is a place, a city or a village that is very Jewish, and I had to go there. And there's also a big wall with names engraved from people, and there is a pond, and it has, uh, it's all for people who gave, risk their lives for them, yes. for Yad Vashem. Yes. And I was invited to go to Israel, but I don't know, I, the, the top guy from the Jewish people came here to that place, yes. Evanston or something, Evanston. Evanston, Illinois, I, yeah. I, okay, that's where my that's father That's where I had to go, and yes. that's where a big wall, and it was a very wealthy Jew who paid for that. And there, the, yeah. the minister, the, from, uh, the prime minister from Israel was there, and there were Polish people who were Jewish and who had suffered a lot, so. So it was really a very important day, obviously, in your life, and, and, and what a blessing to be able to have helped those people. There are only a few people in the entire world that ever received the Righteous Among the Nations Award that Deed Eman received. And as we've listened to some of the stories about her life and some of the trials that she went through, it's really remarkable that the Lord used her in such a way to touch so many lives. I think ultimately receiving that award from the state of Israel for saving Jewish people at the risk of her own life ultimately speaks to me, I think as a Christian, about the sense that our Lord is watching our lives as well. And that as we go through trials and difficulties, maybe nothing like Deet went through, but things that are difficult and hard that our Lord is watching, that he is seeing the things that we do. And as the Lord Jesus himself promises many times in scripture, that even a cup of water given in his name will not lose its reward. You know, I think the exciting thing about Deet's life is she remind us that we serve a wonderful Lord that one day will reward his people for all of the suffering, all of the trials, all of the things that we've gone through in his life. Deet received an award in this life from the state of Israel, but I think in a deeper way, something more wonderful is coming her for her one day when she meets our Lord. And may all of us be inspired by her story, and may we serve, serve our Lord in a wonderful way and receive our reward as well.